GTS and G-Fan here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Airway. Now, of course, this was a late one because it's supposed to be a, a 208 subscriber special, but yeah, considering that my subscriber count just went up faster than I expected, I went like at least like all the way to the 40% of well, to 400 subscribers, my god, and I'm so thankful on that, my, I mean, I am so speechless about this, now, now, as a late thank you for, for subscribing, I say, why not do the Transformers Earth, guys, the Septicon LA, now, I've seen, trans I've seen Earthrise, and LA wasn't there, so let's get to the package. Of course, the packaging it has the Decepticon Airways, as you've seen above. Oh god, I'm sorry. The picture of Airway from the Del Deluxe Class. I kind of like how the Earthrise picture is. Okay, no, I'm just gonna... Yeah, I just like the Earthrise picture. Even on the back, it has, like, other forms. Even the Connect. Well, I don't know, in Bavia or something, I don't know. And it can also work with Micro Masters, which I don't have any. But, hey, Airway, there's some, if it's a Decepticon, I can respect. Because, you see, like, I already got, like, Hog, like, recognizes Hog and Six Gun. So, let's just go to it. But first, the instruction. Well, this. Because, you see, We've never seen Airwave in him, so I can't tell which voice he plays. So, here is where he converts to this. Oh, crap. And the rest of them to his other end, somewhat, a weapon. But where we can see, like, he can connect to Double Dealer, which I don't have. But, maybe i find it later, wink, wink, wink. Oh yeah, it even comes with one of those pieces where it reveals the backgrounds of well, from the backdrop of every Transformer well, from every Transformer figure, so here it is of course, but it works on backdrop, so let's just let's just, oh, of course the backdrop here looks so bright, my god, I was not expecting it so with that, I say let's head to the... Well, to the PCO, because I have particular parts on it. And the part we're going to be going first is... Well, I don't know, maybe the weapon, I guess. Because the weapon is basically one of my least favorite convertible things in the Transformer. Dark Transformers. Because you see... Well, that... But I kind of like the paint and the sculpting on this. My god, I kind of like it. Because it has the orange and gray texture. Well, grayish white texture. And let's see. To convert it, let's see. But. <laughs> let's see, let us see, let us see, let us see. <laughs> Now, this is just a constructible type because I just. Hey, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do now. I don't know what to do. Now, for the other Transformers, I'll be look. I'll be doing my final. Well, my final Transformer, at least, toy hunt. Because toy. Because for me to at least, like. I may need to take a break from toy hunting because. I need to take my time to learn my thoughts about exactly and take my time in school because as it turns out I'm getting pushed back. My god, I, I fucking hate this. I fucking hate this. Not to mention that ah, crap. Ah. Airwave is a, a figure that I was not expecting. But hey, I'm not supposed to fuck it. But without all that, I say that nothing else is nothing more but then nothing less. But, unfortunately, we don't even know much about our Wraith completely yet. Including the possibility that our Airwave could be, like, I don't know what kind of Decepticon he could be. I don't know which one he could be. 
Of course, I'm just confused as much as you are. So, but I, I don't know what to do. I'm just hmm, forgetting that all of this, I say that, I have no idea. I just have no idea of this whatsoever. Because of the possibility that always is not something I could do. Because you see, doing the weaponry is actually a little hard for me to do it. Because you see, I am not much of an expert of it. Because I am actually not what much of it. Because you see, I am basically not much of this kind of crap. Now you can see, airwave is just He's, com he's complicated for me. I mean, my god. I mean, I'm just confused on this whatsoever. I mean, comparing to Airwave, I say that nothing more, nothing less would be disappointed. Now, like, now, back to the toy hunt. My progress I forgot to mention, because there's an update I need to continue. Is that I may be at least, like, taking a break from toy hunting. Because, you see, I need to collect my thoughts and about everything else because you see like like i said i'm my school thing i'm getting pushed back don't show up but the possibility that i will not even know but other than that i say that i'm sorry i'm just not good at this type of stuff but i will be continuing with toy hunts because you see i have like so much I have in mind that I will be, well, that I, hmm, well, that I don't know, because, you see, I just am a little complicated, I don't, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just stunned at this whatsoever, because, you see, I am, I just need time to collect my thoughts and everything that, because one day I may need to take a break from YouTube. Because my god, I am just tempted. This is so much stupid. Because, you see, I am not even able to tune with this. And here we are with the weapon, my god. Now the weapon is worth the mini cons because you see, this is abs this is why I don't like, like transforming him into this. Because, look at it. Look at it. It's It looks so stupid. I mean, I don't know what this thing is, but my god, it looks so horrible. I mean, no wonder they say, like, Transformer Earthrise is basically with the one of the worst. This is basic. could this be one of it? Like, why it's the worst? Not only because they have, like, low to repaint of the originals, but hey. I do not know, so let's just see. Oh, hey, rolls good. Forgot to mention, he rolls. Now, it only works for Minicons, but just to certify, I do not know what kind of Minicons I could be getting. But, within a lot of further ado, how about we have a... Sorry. How about we at least test it out with Ghidorah? Because... Oh wait, I forgot. Ghidorah does not have, like, arms, so he only has his mouth, so... He'll be just, like, biting that part and just... Uh, That's just him, okay? That's just him. But there are two other things to do, so I just need to take this whole assembly off and I'll have to I'll be back with you guys as soon as I'm finished with that. Okay, so here we are with the broken parts again and now I'm gonna resemble it with something different. So let's see. Now of course I need to at least like figure a way to do this because you see I'm a little stupid sometimes. Now seriously, I'm sometimes retarded. Because, you see, I cannot do a few things like like this type of crap. I mean, I wasn't able to at least, like, at least do anything. Because I have, like, family matters to it. Family matters, like, something different. Because, uh, I just, I'm sorry. I'm just not, I'm not good with this type. Okay? Now, I just don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do within my future, because sometimes I'm just, I'm just stressed most of the time, like, I mean, like, my Theo, he's stressed, I mean, my cousin, she is actually related to my 
deal. But the problem is, he is starting to act like my grandfather. Because my grandfather, he loses his hair, but I knew that when someone loses hair, it means that they're stressed. And also, I knew, and my cousin knew that she, soon, one day, he will lose his entire hair completely and he will be bald. That I know, because I just, I'm not like that. I'm not good with this type of crap. I mean, hey, how am I supposed to know? This is just family matters I have to attend to because you see, I'm just describing the reason why I need to take a break from toy hunting. Oh, and back here we are. Now, this is actually not bad, like for a connection of a road for micro figures. Now, I am not confused on this whatsoever because you see, this is actually my second favorite. My first one is actually something else. Because, I just don't know. I mean, like, I never talked as much, like, before. Oh, oh god, I'm just sorry, I'm just... Oh, man. Oh, no, man. I mean, soon we'll have to do a comparison. You know, there's whatsoever. At the end, but... Just for a figure, let me try this, but... All I know is that these tats of... It's too big for it, so... Even if I try to squeeze, try to squeeze it hard. I mean, it's a little too big. Hot Rod is a little too big to compare to this, so... Uh, so it means like I'm going to at least like figure a way to at least like... I don't know. But I kind of like the look of it, my god. I mean like... It has like the stationary, like on this part of it, I like... That I like, I like that. I mean, I'm just surprised, like, wait, hold on, what if it, it's more than steam, but more like a blaster? I mean, like, it could be good for at least, like, comparing it to a city, like, either Double Dealer or Scorpionock, because I also know that Scorpionock is also part of one of those cities. Because, I don't know, maybe one day in my Toy Hunt Season 1 finale, I might find at least something good out of it. I mean, I just don't know what to do. I mean, I mean, comparing that my, I have like a little more budget, I need to at least like think of how to do financial stuff and shit. But and all that, I say that Airwave actually has. This is actually one of my second favorites. If I have like a Scorpionock or a Double Dealer, because Double Dealer and Scorpionock are the only ones who are able to do it. But they're both Decepticons. Well. Decepticon and Mercenary, so yeah, that. You know, I'm just gonna take this part again, and then after that, we're gonna do size comparison on, well, on double on uh, airwaves at least. And here we are with another pair of form. So with all that said and done, was, like I said, I might be doing like more toy hunting, like in the near future. Like I don't know when, but maybe next year. Because even though we already started like three months ago. Three months, I, I just don't know, because you see, I will be at least looking for a toy, or at least like for Kingdom, well, because since I already found Warpath, I will be looking for it other than more, I mean, comparing that I already have, uh, well, Kingdom, Warpath, and for the Godzilla and Grimlock Adventures, I just don't know, because... You see, I already know much about the future of it, but I just don't know if it will go far, far from me in, in the future. So, with all that said and done, I think it's best if I just continue on slowly, because... You see, I am looking for voice actors to voice act for me. Now, if you're looking for that, for an audition, I'll be going for an audition form, because you see... I'll be at least, like, voicing, well, looking for voice actors. Because, you see, I... I'm in fact looking for it because you see I'm getting a little tired of at least like voicing all characters because no and by tired I meant like I'm getting like my throat is not like how it was back then like my throat is like slowly dying if I don't find voice actors now if you want to audition for a voice actors put it in comments below because I will be at least making a video of auditions for force acting because well because you see i'm like getting a little tired of it, of voice acting all the characters and i need to at least like find some voice actors to help me out on this and here we have double dealers 
I mean, for one, I mean, it's like a car. It's like a fairy. Like, I like it. I mean, I like it because you see. Because you see, it's just like. It has like turrets or. Or at least like jets or something. Because. Like. Like blasters or at least like. Like. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm just losing my breath because of me talking this much. Damn it. Oh god. But like. I'm actually loving it. My god. I mean. I mean, comparing like this, I would say it makes it look like he's part of a military group. So, I mean, I'm just surprised on this, because you see, I'm not, like, talking this much. Ever. And ever within my life. So, with all that said and done, how about we start it off with size comparison? Now, to start off size comparison, here we have the War for Cybertron Siege Chromia, along with the Siege War for Cybertron Weaponizer Hog. And finally to top it all off, here we have Six Gun. Now, Airwave is actually one of my first, at least, my first Earthrise, so oh, without that same gun, I'm gonna to have to take them apart again and then just convert them to robot mode and ask you guys later when we have finished. And here we back at stage one. So with all that further ado, now, like I was saying for voice actors, if you want to, if you want to at least, like, become a voice actor, all you guys gotta do is just comment down below, and also give me advice on getting voice actors, because, you see, it's kind of hard for me to at least get voice actors these days, because there was that one video I made, but instead it didn't go do anything, it didn't do jack shit, so, with all that said and done, I think it's best if I just start getting force actors for the Godzilla and Grimlock Adventure show because you see I am in fact getting low getting a little tired of voicing all those characters at once I mean I'm not getting tired of the show I just love it I mean that's the reason I start doing toy hunts now the only problem that I'm getting tired of is voicing them because you see I have to at least like voice all of them and it makes me run out of breath because I am tired sometimes and when I do I do not want to collapse on processing and here we have airwave in robot form I mean my god I mean I have never like done this in the opposite way I mean I've done it like multiple times throughout it and as it turns out I actually do it the other way around like I mean like I'm surprised Alright, now that we're in robot form, I might as well give you guys at least points of articulation and... Wait, what am I doing? I mean, I'm just changing stuff, like I'm making new material as I continue with this video. My god, I am just... I'm just a little speechless on this whatsoever, because you see, I'm just creating new materials. Oh my... Okay, you know what, I'm getting... You know, I'm starting to talk so much that I'm... I'm not only running out of words, but also, I'm, I'm going to be dead on this, because, you know what, let's just get to the paint. The painting and sculpting on Airwave looks, at least, not bad. I mean, at least they gave him, like, a Home Depot color, because with the blue, the gray, and the, well, and the silver, this one. The gray, silver, blue, and orange, along with a bit of hint of black. Now, I'm trying not to be racist, but hey. But seriously, though, I need a round table for this. I mean, like, I'm getting tired of using my hands on this. <sighs> now, they turn him into a blocky-ish robot. I mean, you can tell by the second feet on... Well, on his chest. Because I'm not going to say it. Now, there is no nothing cold about him, but at least if I find any, I'll keep you noticed. Because, you see, it makes it look like he's not from... Somewhere you find in a department store, but instead, somewhere at least makes you look like it. My god. I mean, I just wish that most of the studio series have like this type of coloring on the silver type right here. Just wish that they have it. Now, for articulations, he could do a full 360 as always. You can rotate his head at least, same. He can look up that far, but that's just part of the transformation. He can go out that far. His arm can go rotate 360. His arm can have a hinge joint there. 
He can go kick that far. He can go back that far. We can go for a beautiful spread, my god. This guy actually has a... Well, no, wait, hold on. He, oh yeah, he has a thigh swivel, which is actually good. A second hinge joint here, and a hinge joint here with the kicks. And he can even do a very good pivot, even though it was part of the transformation. Hey, fuck it. Add that to it, yeah. So the posability on Airwave is... Not bad, not bad at all. Now with all that said, uh, how about we finish this off with a bit of size comparison? Well, finally. To finish it off, how about we finish it off with Carl, Six Gun, and last but not least, Chromia. So, that is it for Airwave, and I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe and comment down below if you want to audition for voice acting. I mean, if you want, I can at least, like, get... But for that, I'm going to need advice on getting voice actors. Like getting your voice from your vo well, from yourself to the characters themselves. I'm going to need that. I mean, it's not going to be easy for me. So, I mean, I have I have little resources on it, like depending on it. But with all that said, then I think it's best if I just cut this one short. This is RDG, and I am officially out.